Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a uh, change for my beauty content and I figured I would do a video on my sunglasses collection. And my sunglass collection, sunglasses collection, whatever. You get the drift. And I have quite a few pairs that I've kind of like accumulated over the years. I used to buy like the craziest, funkiest sunglasses back in the day. Like, I, I ended up selling most of them but type of sunglasses I used to buy were like the ones in like music videos. Like the crazy weird ones. I don't know why. I looked ridiculous in them. I thought I was the coolest thing in the world. Since I've kind of like moved away, though some of my recent ones that I've purchased are a little bit funky but still kind of classic in color or like an ultimate classic shape that just have a little bit of a different, you know, detail or whatnot. So let me start. And I will, you're going to see, they're going to leave marks on my face. There's no other way to like get around that. I've never found a way like sunglasses don't leave marks on my face. So throughout the whole video, I'm going to have marks right here and we're all just going to deal with it. In fact, because I like my sunglasses to be really tight so that they don't fall down. So people have asked me before, like, what do you do to not get sunglass marks? I'm like, don't wear sunglasses. Like there's no way to get around it. I just bring concealer with me when I take them off. I try to touch up. That's it. Okay. So the first pair that I bought once I got out of my huge phase were these uh, Ray-Ban Aviators. So this is the classic Ray-Ban Aviator style. I really loved them when I first got them. I, I think they're a very classic style. I don't, they're not my favorite sunglasses to wear on my face shape. Though at the time I kind of really enjoyed them and I do like to wear them and they look cool with certain outfits, but I definitely find that they look better on some face shapes than others. However, the larger aviators I've tried on, I've tried on like kind of oversized aviators and those tend to look much better on my face. I don't really know what kind of face shape I have. People are like oval, round, heart, whatever, square. I don't know. So I don't ever know how to use that to figure out what sunglasses look good on me. I just put them on and I either like them or I don't. So that's how I decide. All right, the second pair I purchased, I'm gonna go in order of like how, when I purchased them. These are by far my favorite sunglasses that I have in my entire collection, just because I think they're the most classic. I love the shape. I think they look the best on me. They're the Stella McCartney cat eye. And when I first bought them and I brought them home, my husband was like, those are really like cat eye. But when we took pictures with them and when I was out and about, he's like, they look really, really good actually, compared to like some of the other ones that I picked up, which were a little bit funkier but these are still my favorite classic shape. They come in many different colors now. She discontinued it, I thought, for a while, and then I saw them back online again, so that's good to know. But uh, I will link all of these sunglasses in the description box below where you can find all of them in case you're interested. Okay, next was these Chloe sunglasses, and I believe they're called the Butterfly, and they're a little more of a square shape, but still oversized. I realized that oversized glasses look the best on me. I've tried like those small little like Illus Diva, little round glasses and they look awful on me. I mean, I think maybe it's because of my forehead because I've got such a big one, but I tend to look good with like really oversized sunglasses. So once again, a very classic shape and uh, they're tortoise shell. So I don't know if you can see that, but they are tortoise shell um the cell mccartney were just plain black and i really love both of those for like really classic and then my ray-bans are really classic as well um i also have this pair this is starting to get into my like funkier looking sunglasses i prefer actually i've worn these a little bit in the summer but i actually prefer prefer these in the winter with like a beanie on i've tried it on I actually like that way better these are from westward leaning and the reason why I like them with a beanie is because they has this straight across kind of shape. So it kind of cuts off my forehead. So when I wear like a beanie or like a little like pom pom on top, it actually looks a little bit cooler and cuts off my forehead a little bit more. But um, I like the mirrored lenses on these and they are kind of like a, um, a light tortoise shell. Um, and they have the red accent on the side with the mirrored lenses, which I thought was really neat. Okay, this was the next pair that then I purchased. And these are by Fendi. And I really was going to return these at first because 
they are really large. So the nose, the bridge part was really large, the side was really large, and they would just fall off my face. Long story long, if you go to Sunglasses Hut, Sunglass Hut, they actually will adjust your sunglasses for free and you don't even have to have purchased them there. I thought that was the most amazing service ever. Like I, I walked in and she was able to completely like shape them to my face. She was able to make this tighter, this tighter, the back tighter for no charge. And I didn't even purchase them there. So kudos to Sunglass Hut because I think that is the most amazing service. And I just was really impressed. And um, yeah, so a little tip there. Okay, so these Fendi's, I love them because they're tortoiseshell, but they have that peach um, detail on the side. I don't know if you can see, but they are a mirrored lens. Um, slightly, I think you see a little bit there. If you follow me on my blog, then you've seen me wearing them a ton, but I really love that kind of tortoise shell um, detail. And like I said, the pink or peach on the side, still very classic though. It's not too kind of crazy. Then we're starting to get into a little bit crazier. I bought, no, I didn't buy those first. Okay. So I bought these first. These are from Illa And like I said, everyone wears the Leonard ones that are really like small. And I've tried those on a million times. I've wanted to make them work and they just don't. So I have to just accept it and move on. But I tried these from Illa and they are the Boca. Ugh. So they still have the round center here, but they're cat eye and they're a little bit harder to find. I'll link below the stores that still have them, but they're obviously not as widespread as the um, Leonard. So you can see their tortoise shell all around. I don't know if you can see that the lens is completely circular. So it gives you that still that Illa kind of circle, but it has that cat eye shape. So I absolutely adore those. Okay. And then I just recently purchased these which are a little, we're starting to get a little funky, but I tried them on when in New Orleans and I didn't buy them at a time and I ordered them from Barney's after and I was like, I love these. So these are the Hamilton and they are, so you can't, the, my lighting is not really showing. They have a really strong mirrored lens and they're absolutely huge. They're ginormous. I walked out, my dad's like, what is that on your face? I'm like, I love them. So they are really fun. They have them in like a, oh, you can see the mirrored lenses to the side there. There we go. Yeah. So they have blue. This is the silver mirrored lens. They have blue, um, but I absolutely, this have a slight blue tint, but they have like a real, real blue. The only thing is they can be a little loose. So I may get Sunglass Hut to like adjust them back here and may just tighten it in right here. I don't think the, the bridge is that bad, but um, I really love them. They're just like big and crazy and fun. Okay, and so these last two I was really excited about because I, I like to splurge on my sunglasses. Um, I don't tend to lose sunglasses. Some people do, so they're like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on sunglasses. I never lose sunglasses. I've never lost a pair in 20 years of wearing sunglasses. So I can splurge on them, but I was so excited when I found, I wanted to buy some colored sunglasses, some really fun colors for the summer, but I really wasn't wanting to spend a lot of money to buy cut like really fun, like colorful sunglasses. So I found some from some free pe from free people. Adorable. $20. Yeah. You heard that right. $20. Oh my gosh. Red. Can you like, I, like, can you even handle it? It's so adorable with like a red lip. You could, it's like kind of retro, but I would totally wear them with like a t-shirt and jeans, a dress, make them kind of retro, make them kind of, downtown dress them up and so funny i bought four different colors and i ended up keeping two of the colors because i didn't like the other colors on me and my mom was like can i try them on and i was like oh sure so she tried them on and she loved the other colors that i didn't want so she ended up keeping those she got these in like a beige which are super mod they look like they like are fresh out of the 60s but on her they look fantastic Okay, so there's that shape, and then there's this little bit more classic and a square shape, and the lens are like a little bit of like a kind of brownish pink color, which I thought was really cute. And once again, oversized. Oversized looks best on me. Kind of, once you identify what looks good on you, what you like, um, it's also what you like. I mean, you know, if you like whatever, tiny little sunglasses and they don't look that great on you, and that's, just wear what you wanna wear, okay? Because there are people that probably see my sunglasses and they're like, that looks horrible. And I'm like, 
that's, I appreciate the feedback, but I still love them. And I'm going to wear them anyway because they make me happy. But these, once again, $20, the red ones, $20. And just love the color. Like I said, it's like a kind of a frosted pink. And they come in tons of different colors, as do the red ones. These come in a bunch of different colors as well. And I was really excited to find these because like I said, I don't mind splurging on sunglasses. I really don't because I don't lose them and I take good care of them. I keep them in the case and I'm just really conscientious about them. But I wanted some colorful ones for the summer and I was thinking to myself like, do I really want to spend what I've spent on these sunglasses on colorful ones? And I was like, mm-mm. So then three people came along and I saw them on the site and I, like I said, I bought four of them and my mom kept two, so. Um, Anyway, I will link all of them down below in order of um, how I talked about them so you guys can reference those links if you're interested in any of them. And please feel free to share um, what sunglasses you were loving. Let me know in the comment section below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.